Once you've downloaded the Column Deck Support Beam Installer, you'll run through the installation and make sure that it's pointing to the correct data directory. I would want to select my beam first. And then in here, you'll say what the column faces that you want to add this deck support to. I'll put the face A since I want to add it to the flange and then I can do my member ends, my left end, my right end or both. I have my section size, I can do a wide flange, channel, angle, WT or an HSSTS. I do have the beam location, I can do the top of the beam or the bottom of the beam. The vertical offset be positive and negative and I'll just put in the length here for 11 inches and we'll come back to the other settings. So I do have one, I just added in at 11 inches to show. I can match the length to the face width, so I'll match the length of that deck support to the face of the, the column width. And then let's say now I want to change it, maybe I want it to be actually on the web of the column. So I can change it from face A to face B. And when I have it here, it'll put it in when it says match the length to the face width. This would go to the K's of the column web. Maybe I want to move the web material to the outside. So it'll go from the outside of those columns. And maybe I want to, if I take this off, then I can extend the length. If I put in a negative half inch, it will come in a quarter of an inch on either side and I can put in my weld. So I showed the top, now maybe I want to put it in reference to the bottom of the beam. And I could put in my vertical offset of maybe a negative 8 inches just to show. And then we have it the negative 8, so it's down below the beam. And I can even add this to multiple faces. Now there is that checkbox to match face settings. Um, I'll come back to that, but basically match face settings means that will be the same settings for both my face A and face B, but then I can come in and actually override this too. So if I edit that and uncheck the match face settings, then I have my face A position settings. Maybe I want that to match the face width. And also I want that to be two and a half inches instead of eight inches for the top of beam. Now you can see that they're both different. I can even add this to a sloping column. I'll just show this very quickly, but I'll select my beam. And I'll just leave this at my face A and I'll just hit OK. And now you can see that it also adds it to sloping columns. If I go in and show my detail here with my templates, then I have my angle called out, I have my weld, I have the angle, it says near side. And I have my extension dimension there. The last thing to cover is that there are settings for these defaults. If I go into my project settings, my plugin default and component, if I click on the column deck support beam, you see all of the settings 